Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Lord and Master, February 23. Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. John 13, 8 These words mean more than bodily cleanliness. Christ is still speaking of the higher cleansing as illustrated by the lower. He who came from the bath was clean, but the sandaled feet soon became dusty and again needed to be washed. So Peter and his brethren had been washed in the great fountain open for sin and uncleanness. But Christ acknowledged them as his. But temptation had led them into evil, and they still needed his cleansing grace. When Jesus girded himself with a towel to wash the dust from their feet, he desired by that very act to wash the alienation, jealousy, and pride from their hearts. This was of far more consequence than the washing of their dusty feet. But the spirit they then had, not one of them was prepared for communion with Christ, until brought to a state of humility and love, they were not prepared to partake of the Paschal Supper or to share in the memorial service which Christ was about to institute. Their hearts must be cleansed. Pride and self-seeking create dissension and hatred. But all this Jesus washed away in washing their feet. A change of feeling was brought about. Looking upon them, Jesus could say, Ye are clean. Now, there was union of heart, love for one another. They had become humble and teachable, except Judas. Each was ready to concede to another the highest place. Now, with subdued and grateful hearts, they could receive Christ's word. Like Peter and his brethren, we too have been washed in the blood of Christ. Yet often, through contact with evil, the heart's purity is soiled. We must come to Christ for his cleansing grace. Peter shrank from bringing his soiled feet in contact with the hands of his Lord and Master. But how often we bring our sinful, polluted hearts in contact with the heart of Christ. How grievous to him is our evil temper, our vanity and pride. Yet all our infirmity and defilement we must bring to him. He alone can wash us clean. We are not prepared for communion with him unless cleansed by his efficacy. Further reflection. Does the shame of my sins ever prevent me from bringing them to Jesus?